Cruise News time. Well, there's a whole lot of news stories swirling around the space and swirling around my head. One that's really piquing my interest is there's a cruise line out there uh, not necessarily interested in returning to 100% capacity if it if it means losing out on something else. And uh, Princess, Princess made a big announcement yesterday, uh, moving or, or creating an option that would make uh, their cruise experience all-inclusive? Uh, cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. And uh, it's one of those West Coast, keep the voice down, early morning cruise shows. But uh, I'm here in uh, Southern California. I'm here in Los Angeles. Man, we, we landed, well, we didn't land. We got off our cruise yesterday morning in San Pedro, picked up a rental car. And man, we went up the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway. The first time the lovely Jenny has ever seen the Pacific Ocean. We went to Malibu. We went to uh, Point Doom State Park. I, I hiked a mountain and uh, we, we went to the Santa Monica Pier. That's look, But here, let me show you. I'm going to show you a couple pieces of footage. But the first one was, uh, th this is what LA uh, is like. There's traffic, y'all. That's okay. The interesting thing about the LA traffic, and this was the takeaway, is the traffic wasn't aggressive. It was just slow. There's just a lot of traffic in LA, but uh, man, such beautiful places here. We got a couple more days in LA until we go to Long Beach, and uh, we will get on the Carnival Panorama for a cruise down the Mexican Riviera. Uh, we, we were kindly uh, invited to stay with some friends, and uh, eventually we're going to move to a hotel over in Long Beach to get ready for our cruise. But yeah, I'll be showing you some more of the travels. Uh, but let's talk a little bit cruise news. Uh, let's talk about another cruise city coming back to cruising for the cruise restart. Uh, this time we're talking about Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia, a, a lovely cruise port. I went and toured a cruise ship there one time and uh, they haven't had any cruising departing from there. Uh, for two years and now Carnival Cruise Line is back this Sunday. The Carnival Magic will be departing from the cruise terminal there in Norfolk going for a Bahamas cruise. It's going to be one of 11 cruises going out of Norfolk in 2022 and uh, to get ready for it they're having a big celebration at the terminal. Again I mention these things because they're important milestones for the cruise restart and uh, you know every cruise city in the US or really around the globe uh, once they start to get their uh, ability to cruise again back in place uh, those are all good signs for the cruise restart. We also got news coming from New Zealand that they would be opening up New Zealand uh, July the 31st I believe it is for international travel. Uh, that's one of those locations where cruising isn't happening right now and so it's good to see a date uh, for our friends down there in New Zealand. We know that the Australian cruise reopening is in process. We're getting closer to cruises there and now uh, the, the Kiwis are joining the Aussies uh, to, to bring all of that uh, beautiful uh, Australian New Zealand cruising back into the fold and building on that discussion one might think that uh, getting all the cruise ports back online all the cruise ships back online and then running at 100% capacity is the goal well, one major cruise company out there said well partly you know maybe running at 100% capacity is not the goal if you have to sacrifice price Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings came out in their earnings call and they said the future is bright and one of the reasons that the future is bright is because they have a strong price point it's expensive to cruise right now that's the that's what the language means that they're able to get a premium price for cruising because uh, the demand is getting higher than the supply and uh, to keep it that way maybe they don't sell at 100% capacity if they can get the premium price at 65% profitability is going to be there and they will continue to build their business to recover from the shutdown. Interestingly enough, I've been on a couple Norwegian cruises. I really actually like the product. I want to go on some more Norwegian cruises, uh, but it, an interesting take and, it, and not a not an unsurprising take because often Norwegian cruise lines do things with a little different mindset, uh, not rushing back to 100%, uh, but holding on to the profit that they're seeing right now at the current capacity. How about that? Now, I do want to provide an update to a show that I did early last week where basically during that show, I made an appeal to the cruise lines when it comes to communication, when people are in quarantine, when people are in isolation. Uh, so much has happened around that since I made that video. And very specifically, 
uh, folks at Princess Cruise Line, they reached out to me and, and brought me into the conversation. Uh, I got to uh, get a little bit uh, deep into what their process is. I got to experience some things. And I want to be able to share those things with you, but I really need to process it. I've got a lot of information I need to go through. Uh, I got you know exposure to how their process works, uh, how guests are communicated to. And I do have some takeaways from that, but I don't think I'm ready to lay it out there. But I, I just want to take a moment to say that you know uh, what you write in the comments is important uh, because there are people from the cruise companies looking at that and so I share that just to say that you know of course I'm saying stuff that people are hearing but you guys are also writing stuff that people are reading and so uh, you have the opportunity to make an impact also and uh, you know it was it was great uh, to talk to the people and to work with the people last week on Princess and uh, I, yeah I can't wait to share more with you again I need to process it all out and you know this road trip and is a, a challenge so uh, but more to come when it comes to communicate uh, let me just give you one nugget one piece that I did not understand about the princess process which is very interesting is part of their process part of their intake process when somebody tests positive and they have to be moved to isolation uh, they work to try to understand what level of communication that person wants. Do they want to be communicated to a lot? Do they want to be communicated to a little? Do they want to be, you know, basically left alone or do they want to be highly engaged? And based on that evaluation is how they tailor their communication. And another interesting thing that I found in that princess process is that each person that goes into isolation is assigned a specific person there on the ship uh, to be kind of their liaison during the whole process. So uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was great to have that conversation. I want to share more with you about it. But again, I've got to process some of it. But there's some, it's, it was really neat to see how that process works and to understand that better. And uh, it was great that the princess heard the call that we put out and uh, reached back out to myself and uh, vicariously through me to you uh, to talk about what princess was doing when it comes to communication in isolation. And uh, that's, a, that's a great step. So thank you, princess. And thank all you guys for all your great comments. Uh, please continue to do that on a daily basis. Leave comments uh, below. Now, in addition to that, I got another big princess story. Uh, I want to tell you all about that. But first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe if you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in. I'm close enough to Hawaii that I can try to do that. Cruising. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of the episodes. Cruise news. I got it. Cruise vlogs. I got it. Uh, you know, pretty Jenny breaking it down once a week live show we got it uh, look, all you gotta do subscribe hit the notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of these episodes they jenny's over there jenny you camera ready baby nope. she said nope uh, yeah it's it's early in socal like i'm still what look guys i got sunburn i didn't wear my glasses because i'm afraid to magnify the whiteness of my face where my i got raccoon eyes all right uh big story come subscribe subscribe Thank you in advance. Big story from Princess just dropping yesterday. Princess making the move to make cruising uh, all more all-inclusive. Uh, this is an interesting thing. There's a, a couple ways to cruise. You can cruise a la carte. I would like my drink package. I would like my internet. I would like my specialty dining. I would like my photos. You can do all of that a la carte. And if you do, that certainly stacks up to equal one price. Well, Princess comes in and says, look, we noticed there are people that are buying uh, many of these individual packages. Why not put all these packages together to bring forward a more all-inclusive take on cruising? And that's exactly what they've done. They've taken the drink package. They've taken the internet package. They've taken specialty dining. They've taken a photo package. And they've taken gratuities and they've rolled them into one single price that is cheaper than buying all of those things individually. $75 per day per person and you get all of that. It raises an interesting question that we can have in the comments. Uh, you know, if, if the price is right, would you bring on some things that you don't normally do? I don't normally get pictures, but again, I don't normally get the drink package. But at $75 a day, uh, maybe the price is right because I get all of those things. I like the fact that the gratuities are included. So this new offering does have a name. It's called Princess Premier. It goes on sale on May the 25th for cruises that are starting on June the 25th. And again, it's $75 per person per day 
and you get all of that stuff. Two specialty dinings, you get the internet package for up to uh, four devices, you get the, the drink package that has the $18 drinks, uh, you also get digital copies of all of the photos that are taken of you. So yeah, if you're avoiding those backdrops, all of a sudden you got this digital package you can get in front of every backdrop. You also get three printed pictures and it includes uh, the, the gratuities. So there's a lot there. And not only does Princess Premier give you access to all of that, it also gives you access to this other thing called Princess Prizes. I'm, I'm gonna have to put that in another video. Princess Prizes is a whole new way to do gaming on the cruise ship. If you've been on Princess, if you've used the Medallion app, you know that you can gamble almost anywhere on the cruise ship, whether it be bingo, you can do slots on your phone. Well now, could you imagine if you could possibly win money or cruises or prizes Prizes just by using your medallion to go into your cruise cabin. That's the kind of pro we'll have to talk about princess prizes at another time. But interesting stuff going on there. Thanks so much for checking out the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. Do me a favor, hit the like button, and it's really not a favor. You're well, you are doing me a favor. I mean, let's not get that twisted. But you're also avoiding a punishment because if you don't hit the like button, I'll be forced to punish you. I don't know if you know that's the way the universe works, but your punishment is this. If you do not hit the like button, then every city that you're in will have LA traffic. That means it will take an hour and a half to go 19 miles. Isn't that mind blowing? Do the math, how many miles per hour is that? An hour and a half to go. No. Just hit the like button, that way you don't have that traffic. This is Tony for La Lido, look, until next time. See you on the Lido, bye.